What is up, Unison Gamers? This is Michael Sean with Unison Games coming at you with day five of the Pack a Day TCG opening. Today we're going to be opening an Icoria pre release box to celebrate day five. If you guys were uh, joined us from my Pack a Day Pokemon opening, you know that on uh, special days we open special products and oftentimes there's giveaways. The cool thing with Magic and Pokemon is that they have digital platforms and therefore. I can give away digital codes just right immediately for those of you that are watching. So we're opening an Ikoria pre-release, and I will be giving away the code for this. I know that <clears throat> magic codes like this usually sell for a lot more than Pokemon ones do because they're rarer. Pokemon, they give them in every single pack. Um, however, I wanted to give it out for day five. So, if you're watching, definitely get ready to snag the code before anybody else does. But yeah, let's uh, let's bust this pre-release. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have gotten some new subscribers, and I'm hoping that it is from this series. Thank you so much if you're a new subscriber. Uh, shout it out in the comment section. Love to know that. So, we got the pre-release. If you guys haven't opened pre-releases before, they come with a D20 spin down. They come with six packs. Okay, let's see what our arts are like here. Oh, two of each. How nice. And uh, a a uh, one of the cool things is they introduce the different counters in the set, and they give you like a nice, like thick punch card of the counters. So that's cool because the ones in the packs are kind of lame. Uh, they give you like a little thing, and then they give you a stamped promo. We got Mythos of Eluna. This card is not. Um, I mean, it's fine, I guess, because you just get a token, and then if you are if you cast it with uh, red and green, you can create a token that's a copy of a permanent, except when this permanent ETBs, if it's a creature, it fights up to one target control. Target creature you don't control. It's only four mana. So actually, that's not too bad. If you're playing a deck with like big stuff, like maybe if you're playing like Simic Ramp or something, and you could splash red, eh, that's not the worst thing in the world, I suppose. Not the one that is the best, though. Okay, so we're just gonna leave that sealed for now. Uh, obviously, we gotta save our um, our uh, uh, mar, mar. What is this called? The uh, prickly marmoset. We're gonna save prickly marmoset for the end. He's our pack art of choice. And uh, let's get started on these packs. Oh, hey, how about the code? Let's do the code before we do the packs. Here's the code. Make sure you grab that before other people jump on here and grab it. There you go. Let's check this out. We got Ferocious Tigerilla, uh, Checkpoint Officer, Frostvale Ambush. I never know the name of this card. I just know it as a cycle for one. Uh, there's our Prickly Marmoset, uh, Durable Coil Bug, also known as Roly Polioli, Bristling Boar, Farfinder, Springjaw Trap, Excavation Mole. Uh, boot Nipper. This is a Momentum Rumbler. Uh, Barrier Breach. All right, we got a uncommon alternate art here with Auspicious Sterix. Actually, pretty decent card. Very cool. Okay, cool. Lava Brink Venture. So this is one that you get to pick a odd or even, and it gains when it comes into the battlefield, and it gains protection from that value, which is pretty sweet. Actually, I think that could be really good. Obviously, there's some human synergy in the game that you could combine with it. Just make a nice little human deck and have that just be your three drop for the human deck. I think it's definitely not too terrible. All right. Speaking of humans, our first card coming out of this pack is Dranith Stinger. Imposing Vontasaur, Startling Development, Frenzied Raptor, Carry On Whisperer, Humble Naturalist, Cr uh, Crustacean, Fire Prophecy, Savai Sabretooth, Migratory Greathorn, uh, yeah, Swallow Hole, I like this card a lot, uh, Weaponize the Monsters, Chittering Harvester. Our rare is Labyrinth Raptor. Got our like menace synergy if you're into the menace deck. 
that is something you could use. And for our land, we got a Jungle Hollow, which is pretty good. All right, let's go to pack number three, getting into the Vivian arts. Vivian's pretty sweet. All right, here we go. Spontaneous Flight. Startling Development. Uh, unlikely Aid. Wilt. Pacifism. Love that card. Blister Spit Gremlin. Facet Reader. Uh, Night Squad Commando. It was his Flycatcher. Yeah, Flycatcher Giraffid. Avian Oddity. Oh, Flourishing Fox. That's good. I needed a fourth copy of that. All right, we got Zagoth Crystal. And another Mythos of Iluna. So you can see that it's the pre releases. They're just the same art, but they're just foil and stamped. There we go. Okay, and we got a Foil Night Squad Commando. Pretty sweet. And a Thornwood Falls for our rare and some tokens. Cool. All right. Go to the next one. We got Cathartic Reunion. Divine Arrow. A Glimmer Bell. Uh, what is it? Fully Grown? Fully Grown, yep. Unlikely Aid. Plummet. Dranith Healer. Uh, Raking Claws. Uh, Hampering Snare. Blood Curdle. Monstrous Step. Poor Lizard. Primal Empathy. Necro Panther. And our rare is Cub Warden. Pretty cool. Just creates cat tokens. Actually, I think I have a friend that needs this card. Um, yeah, very cool. Very cool. And we got Dismal Blackwater as our land. I love getting those game lands. Game lands are such a great way, especially for new players. If you don't own all of the, uh, I don't know, the best versions of your dual lands, like shock lands and, and temples, uh, it's, it's like using game lands is a really good idea for that. And honestly, like I've been playing the game for a while and I have yet to totally invest in all of my shock lands. Like I don't think I have a place out of any. No, I have a place out of the Golgari one, I think. Yeah, I think other than that, I still don't have them either. So I got one or two game lands holding their place. Got Lava Serpent. Uh, Main Serval. Glimmer Bell. Got an alternate art here at Common Cavern Whisperer. It's a cool one. Humble Naturalist. Uh, another one of those cycle for one. Memory Leak. Uh, Greater Sandworm. Spring Jaw Trap. Rumbling Rock Slide. Convolute. Charge of the Forever Beast. Back for more. It's a pretty good Golgari card. Uh, Polywog Symbio, that's a pretty decent card as well. Oh man, the little cute one. Offering Offspring's Revenge, kind of an interesting card. Creates a token of like a, a dude that died earlier, um, and it's like the same. It has everything that the previous one had, except that it's a one-one. So it's like just a little baby version. All right, we're at our last pack. Quickly, Marmoset. Don't do us dirty. Give us uh, some kind of mythic. That'd be awesome. Here we go. Checkpoint Officer. Thieving Otter. Uh, what does this go for blood? That's a great card, by the way, especially unlimited. Mutual Destruction. Fully Grown. Plummet. Dranith Healer. Heightened Reflexes. Aegis Turtle. Uh, un uh, yeah, Unexpected Fangs. I like the idea of that card. Sanctuary Lockdown. Pouncing Shore Shark. Pretty sweet. Uh, Indatha Crystal. All right, no mythics, but we did get Quartzwood Crasher, just a big, big uh, gruel. Is it a dinosaur, technically? Yeah, dinosaur beast. <clears throat> just a big one. And we even got a dinosaur token to go with it. Very cool. So, yeah, that, that's our Ikoria pre-release. Um, I think if I was to open this pre-release, like in pre-release season, um, and play with it, I mean, we got some playable stuff. But uh, no, like, no Mythics out of it. That's pretty rare. Usually you get, like, one or two, like, dice, like, money cards out of your pre-releases. And uh, even, like, our stamped is just kind of, like, okay. Um, the first set of pre I Maybe I'm just a little spoiled because 
if, if you if you didn't see this picture on on the unison games instagram and facebook uh me and my sisters did a little pre-release we opened three and we got three of the best cards in the set so that that was uh that was pretty cool because we got uh nar set we got Wynota, and we got um luca so maybe i'm just a little spoiled i personally got the nar set too which i, I really like this nar set it's kind of overpowered so yeah but anyway if you're watching and you're not a subscriber to the channel be sure to subscribe be sure to like this video snag that code you can watch the replay and pause it if you didn't catch it the first time around and of course check out the other videos on my page we just had a pokemon video drop yesterday so definitely go check it out it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching